You know, as much as I like Diana Ross in that in that role, Diana Ross was a grown woman. Like she was all like 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 she was she a school teacher. Well, the, yeah, she they played. She was Diana was thirty six when they did that movie, and she yeah, played a I school remember teacher. Seeing yeah, it. I'm like, yo, she might be just a little too old to be Dorothy at that point. Yeah. So as simple as that. She's the biggest star. She wanted, and you know, for for just to give her credit, she was Beyonce before Beyonce. Oh, um, she, huge mega star. I don't think you can compare. I don't think you can compare Beyonce to Diana Ross. I mean, Diana. No, just Ross, in terms of stardom. As ter- in terms of stardom, it's still different. It's still. I mean, Diana is. Is glamour and and you know Beyonce is 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 glamour. It's just different. It's hip hop. I considered uh, Beyonce hip hop. I consider Diana uh, R and B and pop and and just I consider her royalty. Diana. I've always wanted to be like Diana. And when I saw Lady Sings the Blues and I would go to her shows in Vegas, they were always so wonderful and 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 classy and everything diana ross is the epitome of of beauty and class to me oh you know you and i were talking offline and i agree with so much of your perspective on this one because i see beyonce i see her as everything you just said i don't see her as hip-hop i don't she's she's i see her more like hip-hop than anything Mm -hmm. and i still think she's wonderful don't get me wrong but it's two different generations. Two, it's just totally different to me. 